give me a T, give me a R, give me an A N S F O R M. Let God transform. He is a potter. We are the clay. He transforms us. We transform the world each day. Transform. Good morning, boys and girls, parents, guardians, teachers, and friends. I am Auntie Athena. You can call me Auntie Tina for short. On behalf of the St. Andrew Dean Sunday School Council of the Diocese of Jamaica and Cayman, welcome to this, the first in our series entitled Nine Weeks to Transform. Over the next nine weeks, we will look at areas in which God wants us to be transformed and to help transform others. Today, being the first Sunday, we start the series with a look at the letter T. T is for transform. As we begin, let us pray the Sunday School Prayer together. Lord Jesus, teach us how to live, to worship, pray, and forgive. We need your wisdom as we grow your will and plans to strive and know. Give us your grace to grow and learn and from your ways to never turn. May in your world your love increase till every child knows your way and your peace. Amen. Do you know what the word transform means? Transform is a significant or very dramatic change in nature character, appearance, or form, and it's normally not reversible. Think of it this way. Ice to water or water to ice is a change, but not a transformation. But an egg to a butterfly is a transformation because it goes from an egg that was laid to a caterpillar, to a pupa or chrysalis, and then to a butterfly. Four different stages with different features and activities on the road to becoming a beautiful butterfly. So what would you say about water being changed into wine? Is that a change or is that transformation? Yes, I agree. Turning water into wine would be transforming. Jesus' first miracle was turning water into wine. It is recorded in St. John chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. Let us listen carefully to this exciting story. There was once a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother, Jesus' disciples, and Jesus himself were all at the wedding. In those days, weddings were a series of celebrations lasting several days. In the middle of the celebration, the wine ran out. Hey, what a pricky, as we would say in Jamaican talk. What an embarrassment. Not having any other way to help, Jesus' mother went to him and said to him, Son, they are out of wine. The next thing Jesus' mother did was to go to the servants, the waiters, and the waitresses at the wedding. And she said to them, Come here, listen to me good. Do whatever my son Jesus tell you to do. Just do it. Now six large stone water jars were there. Each jar was large enough to hold between 20 and 30 gallons of liquid. Jesus said to the servants, Fill these jars with water. Without asking any questions, they obeyed him and filled all six jars right up to the brim. Then he told them, Now, Go draw water out and take it to the man in charge of the feast to taste. They did exactly as Jesus had told them. Now during this short time between drawing the water and taking it to the man in charge of the feast, the water had now turned to wine. When he tasted it, he called the bridegroom and said to him, Come here man, everyone else leaves the best wine first but you have kept the best wine for last until now. 
this wine is definitely the best wine I have tasted in all my years of planning and managing wedding celebrations. Jesus performed this, his first miracle in Cana in Galilee, transforming water into wine. And there he revealed his glory. And from then on, his disciples believed in him. The word of the Lord. Now, I made up a short chorus to sound the story of this miracle. It is sung to the tune B I N G O, and it goes like this Jesus' first miracle was water turned to wine, water turned into wine, water turned into wine, water turned into wine, he can transform me to. So what lessons can we learn from Jesus' first miracle? The first lesson is that God uses ordinary things and ordinary people like you and me to deliver extraordinary results. He doesn't need us to be perfect or bright or well-spoken to serve him. In the same way that ordinary water was turned into fine wine, God will transform us from what we are to what he wants us to be. As the song says, he picks us up, he turns us around, he plants our feet on higher ground. Yes, you know that song. Next, God wants us to believe and have the confidence that he can and will change our situation. He wants us to take our situations to him and tell him about them just like Mary the mother of Jesus did. Now, did you notice that when the wine ran out, Mary went to Jesus confidently telling him the problem? She went to him and said, Jesus, they have run out of wine, even though she had no idea what he would do. In the same way, he wants us to tell him, to give him our flaws, our bad habits, our weaknesses, our fears, and our doubts, so that he can transform them. Do you know the song that says, Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. That's what he wants us to do, give them all to him. Now God also wants us to trust him, to submit to him and obey him. And not just to trust or rely or be guided by our own knowledge and understanding. Can you imagine if someone told you to fill a jug with water and serve it as wine? I can hear some of you saying, but why should I serve the people water? Have you forgotten that it is water in the jug and that the people want wine? And you would go on and on. Well, here is a song for you. It says, Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. That is exactly what Jesus wants us to do, to trust him and obey him. Finally, God wants us to realize that with him in our lives, nothing is impossible. He makes all things new. There is no habit or personality or temptation that he cannot help us to transform. He is the mega transformer. As God transforms us, he wants us to live transformed, Christ-like, spirit-filled lives. And in so doing, we will help him to transform the world. As the song says, Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and for the entire human race. Yes, that's what God wants us to do. Now, I invite you to clasp your hands and close your eyes as we pray our closing prayer. Let us pray. Transforming God. We want to be more like you. Thank you for the lessons learned from your first miracle of transforming water into wine. Give us obedience, confidence in you, and help us to trust you. 
Remind us each day to take our concerns and our weaknesses to you in prayer. Lord, transform each of us so that each of us can transform others until our church, our community, our country, and the wider world is transformed. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new today. Remember to share the link, tell a friend, and subscribe to this channel. We close with the chorus of a song entitled Totally Transformed by Jaina Alira. You can look it up on YouTube and listen to it and enjoy the complete song. Thank you for joining us today for T is for Transform. Join us next week for R is for Repent and try to figure what parable, miracle, or Bible character could be used to teach us about repentance as we continue our nine weeks to transform series.